Welcome to our lecture online. For our next example, we're going to find the circumference of a circle, the arc length of a complete circle. Now, of course, we know what that is. It's 2 pi r. But let's see if we can figure that out by using the equation to find the arc length. And of course, here's the general approach where we take the integral from a to b of the square root of 1 plus the derivative of the function squared times the x. All right, so we have a circle here. Notice we have the equation x squared plus y squared equals r squared, so we use the general circle, r being the radius of the circle, and we're going to solve that for y in terms of x, so that looks like this. So here we have our function. We can also write it as the square root using exponentials of the quantity r squared minus x squared. So now we take the derivative of that, so we take f prime of x, and so that's equal to 1 half times r squared minus x squared to the exponent minus 1, which is minus 1 half, times the derivative of what's inside, which would be minus 2x. Notice the 1 half cancels out to 2. We have still have a negative there. So this becomes equal to a negative x divided by the square root of r squared minus x squared. So that's the derivative of that function. Now we're going to square it, so when we square that, f, f prime of x squared, that means the negative disappears, we end up with an x squared divided by, in the denominator, we get r squared minus x squared, like this, without the square root. Now that will go into our general formula. So now what we're going to do is we're going to integrate, instead of going and integrate all the way around the circle, let's just, just go one quarter the distance from x equals r to x equals zero, and we multiply that times 4, so we have the full length or the full circumference. So therefore, we can say that the length is equal to 4 times the integral of going from x equals r to x equals 0 of the square root of 1 plus the derivative of the function squared, which is what we have right here. So it would be x squared divided by r squared minus x squared times dx. Now, at first, you take a look at that and go, wow, how do I integrate that? But we can simplify that algebraically. We can put it all over the common denominator. So this is equal to 4 times integral from r to 0 of the square root of, now this becomes r squared minus x squared plus x squared divided by the common denominator of r squared minus x squared. Of course, if I divide this by this, I get to 1 again. So it's the same thing times dx. So now, let's see here, what can we do next? Well, notice that the x's cancel out, so this becomes equal to 4 times the integral of from r to 0 of the square root of r squared divided by r squared minus x squared times dx. And now we can factor out the r squared in the numerator. So we'll bring that over here, so this is equal to 4r times the integral from x equals 0 to x, uh, x equals r to x equals 0, and then we have the square root of 1 over r squared minus x squared times dx. And now we recognize the integral because the integral of that, that would be equal to the inverse sine. So this becomes equal to 4r times the inverse sine of, and that would be x over r, like this, evaluated from x equal r to x equal 0. All right, let's come up here to evaluate that. So that means that the length is equal to 4 times r times, when plug in the upper limit, we get the inverse sine of 0. So the inverse sine of 0 minus, when plug in the lower limit, we get the inverse sine of uh, that would be r over r over 1. Okay, so when is the inverse sine, when, uh, what's the angle when the inverse sine equals 0? Well, when sine equals 0, that means the angle is 0. So L equals 4R times 0 minus, and then here with, uh, when the sine is equal to 1, well, that's equal to pi. So it looks like uh, pi halves, right? That's 90 degrees when the when the angle is 90 degrees, the sine is equal to 1, so it would be pi halves. 
So here, the 4 divided by 2 is 2, so this gives us L is equal to minus 2 pi r. Well, now you say, well, you got a minus sign. How can that be? Well, it turns out that I use the limits going from r to 0. If I then change the limits from 0 to r, I get a positive value. So essentially, we can say that L is equal to 2 pi r. If we plug the limits in the correct way, we put r up there and 0 down there. So that would be the same thing. Wow. And so therefore, the length is 2 pi r, which is, of course, the circumference of the circle. No, 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 that's not, I'm sure they did not figure it out like that initially. <laughs> that would be the harder way to do it.